So Tando, uh, I get a chance after your debut for the Cobras, obviously, and now you in the Power Rocks camp. Just tell me, how are you feeling right now, this time in your career? Uh, obviously, it's an exciting time to be sharing a change room with such experienced players. Um, the knowledge that's being uh, passed around in the change room is unbelievable. The team atmosphere, the vibe, it's really nice. So I'm really enjoying my cricket in this part of my career. And I'm just trying to learn as much as possible from the experienced guys as well. Obviously, Faf arrived today. So I'm just trying to have as many chats as possible with him before the campaign actually starts. Are any of these guys some of the leaders that you maybe looked up to when you were a kid? Um, some of them are new guys on the block, so I haven't watched that much of them. But obviously, past few years, I've obviously watched guys on TV, looked up to them. And then it's a dream come true to be sharing a change room and a field with them, hopefully, yeah. So we know about the Ntini name and I don't want to go on and buffle about that and you want to obviously become, be your own player and your own person. Um, can you maybe take me through your time as a child growing up with a father obviously being Makai Ntini and just tell me a little bit about the stories. We've heard about the times when you were in the in the hotel lobbies playing with some of your players. Can you maybe mention some of those stories with me? Yeah, obviously growing up in, uh, in an atmosphere where you're always on the move with parents uh, surrounded by various famous pro tier players who've come and gone obviously um, it was really nice it actually gives you hope as a child that you can get such good feedback from a, from a young age and you can get nurtured as well from a young age so that really gave my career a boost and gave me the motivation that I can actually make it in the professional cricket world mm. so those are really exciting yeah and obviously being a child being a baby in that environment players mm. do play with you and share stories with you so it was really nice cool and so this is about the Mzani Super League you were a wild card pick for the Paul Rocks uh, do you have any goals for the season besides obviously trying to get your first start um, I've pretty much achieved majority of my of my short term goals for this year so that, that's really nice to achieve those before the end of the year um, obviously now that the Mzansi League is starting my must Obviously, one of my few goals is to try and leave here a better cricketer than I was when I arrived. And even if I don't get that much game time, it's still a privilege and an honour to be surrounded by such cricket players and a lot of pro tier players that I can learn from, which is top class. So just a word to the fans out there. We know that you're getting a, a massive following now on social media. Can you just give them a small little message? Um, no matter how tough it can get, I think all you have to do is keep believing and trust the process. Thanks, Daniel. No worries, man. Thank you. Thank you.